Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So we have Pisces, and this is your weekly reading. Now, again, guys, I'm going to say this again and again and again and again. These are general readings, so only take whatever applies. Um, feeling, feeling out of balance or feeling like, no one's got your back feeling like uh, i don't know it's it just kind of feels like all oh, hell's gonna break loose or something like that like you're always alone or or, or something like that but it is it, but it's kind of funny pisces in the sense that you're never really alone um your spiritual team really wants you to start relying on them a little bit more. Don't feel that because you're asking for certain things or because you're always coming towards them. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you're needy. Um, we all, we all need a support team, right? Um, that saying it take a, it takes a village, right? To, to raise a child, it, it comes with, with everything else in life. And, and some of you, yeah, I, I get it. There may be fear here as far as like um, not wanting to ask people for help because of certain experiences or whatever it may be. But if you allowed every challenge or every bad experience in your life, to stop you from pursuing like let's say your dreams or pursuing whatever then how are you ever going to achieve anything and it's almost like some of you have either lost faith in humanity or whatever it is and it's like all right let, let's talk about some truth here we attract whatever you know how when people say you know we attract what whatever we are. So whatever is within is whatever you're going to attract, right? So if you are constantly, and, and I know that I sound like a freaking broken record, um, and I'm going to, I, I guess, it's, it's going to keep on coming up until this, I guess until people hear it or whatever it is. It's probably something that has to come up in every reading if it hasn't come up in every reading yet. Where the way that you show up for yourself is the way that other people show up for you. That does not necessarily mean that it's going to be in the same category. So let's say like physically, you don't show up for yourself, right? You don't take care of yourself. You don't, you don't listen to your body when it wants to eat, when it's dehydrated, da, 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 da. Then you might have somebody that's not going to show up for your life in a certain area. It may not be physically. It may be, they may not be there emotionally. Um, or vice versa. Um, a lot of you continue to attract individuals that come and take, 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 and don't give anything back. And a lot of the reason why that's happening is because you take, 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 take from yourself to give, give, give to others. And you never leave enough for yourself. So this is a period for you or this is a week for you to really start prioritizing you, to really start prioritizing your goals, to really start prioritizing the things that you want to do. Now, am, am I saying that there's not going to be a need for flexibility? No, that's not what I'm saying. Are there things that are going to be unexpected? Of course they are. But you have to... You have to set some boundaries. Not, and I'm not talking about so much about other people. I'm talking about you, right? So, story time. Last week, and I don't know if I shared this already. But anyways, last week on Thursday, I I have a class that I take. I take, I take spin um, twice a week and Thursday evenings is one of those weeks. And there was no reason for me not to go to spin. Everything was done. House was clean. Food was cooked. Kids were good. And I literally, like, I literally leave my house by a certain time, right? 
um, like around five, and it was like four forty-five, and I was like, I could skip it. I could skip it, right? And I kept telling myself that I wasn't giving myself a reason for it, right? I I wasn't feeling sick. I wasn't anything. I just at that moment in time, I didn't want to show up for myself for whatever it was, right? And I sat on the couch and I put my phone down and I, I started to distract myself. Um, I was telling my daughter, I was like, oh, let's go watch, let's watch the show, this and this and that. And I kid you not, we started watching, and, and like I was, and it's, it's so funny because I, I was doing it consciously where I was trying to let the time get to a certain point where they, I, then I can say I'm running late, I'm not going to go, right? And I swear, I must have checked my phone in what must have felt like at least 20 minutes interval, at least five times. <laughs> and every time I checked my phone, it was still like, it was like 45.1, 45. There was an actual point, but you know what I mean? And then it was like dragging into like 44.46. 4.46, 4.47. And then it like it got to the point like that by the fifth time that I checked my phone, it had only been like three minutes, right? But I was so so sure that by the time I checked the last time, you know, this time, you know, it's gonna be like but it's almost like spirit froze time and was like, unless you give me a legitimate reason why you can't show up for your workout, you're gonna go. And time is going to stay here until you get your ass up out of the couch and you freaking go. So at that point, at 447, I was like, screw this. One in the room, change, grab my bag to the kids. I'll be back. Head out. And I'm driving and I'm driving. I get there and I get there. And the minute like, I step into the gym and I'm walking down to the, to the, to the room where we do spin. And like the minute I walked to the door, like my entire energy shift that I was just like, oh, I'm so happy I'm here, this and this and that. And then it, it was awesome because it was like one of my favorite classes, like when it comes to endurance and like strength. So I was actually like, I would have been real pissed if I would have missed it, right? But it's almost kind of like that thing, like a lot of the times you don't show up for yourself and you don't even have an excuse not to show up for yourself. So it's like, you just know you just don't show up for yourself in certain areas of your life because you just don't either you don't see the benefit in it or you just whatever it is like whatever your excuse is it I, i'm here to tell you it's just an excuse and it's just that um and you can take that however you want but it has to get to a point pisces where you need to start showing up for yourself right um, I went to class. I felt amazing. I came home and did a whole bunch of other stuff that I, that I wanted to do the next day. And I actually got it done ahead of time. But again, like when, you know, and I talk about workouts, yes, I know. And no, I'm not obsessed. I, I don't do just one thing. Like I do many different things throughout the week because they help with my spirit. So if I wouldn't have gone to spin class, which is cardio, which does something very specific for my spirit, then I probably wouldn't have gotten anything else done that day. And I probably would have been sluggish and tired and procrastinating on Friday because I was going to be feeding off of the energy of procrastinating when I showing up for myself the day before. So it's almost kind of like the same thing. Like, you know, when a person is on a diet and they break their diet, right? And it's like, okay, if you had, you know, you cheated on, and I hate using the word cheat, to be honest with you, but this is like the way that the world views it. If you cheated on, on lunch, then you're kind of like, screw it, I'm going to cheat for dinner and I'm going to cheat for the rest of the weekend and I'll restart on Monday. And it's like, no, 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 no. I, right now I need you to check yourself and get your ass back in track. Monday is not the beginning of everything. Not everything needs to be started on a Monday, right? Um, one of the things that I that I did when I first really committed to my exercises, and this was what like seven years ago, where I would never start a new workout program on a Sunday or a Monday, because on Sundays you also a lot of people see that or connect that to the beginning of the week, right? So I would always start my workout routine on either a Tuesday or a Wednesday. 
it was straight up middle of the week. People are looking at me like, oh, you're crazy. You're insane. No, I'm not. I know what works for me. I know myself, right? I, I have some habits. I have some, some, some changes in my mind. You know, of course, my wording was different back then. But I, I knew that if I started on a Monday... 90% of the time, if I ate a slice of pizza or I ate something that was not in my meal plan on Friday or Saturday, I was going to say, oh, screw it. I'll start again on Monday. And it's like, no, 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 no. There's no starting on Monday. So it's almost kind of like you may have to learn to play certain mind games with yourself or whatever it is in order to make sure that you're showing up for yourself. And it doesn't have to be an exercise, guys. This can be your, you know, your hobby, your your business that you want to create. This can be your spiritual um routine, whatever it is or something that you are holding yourself back from, right? So a another great story. I I set an alarm for a certain time and and I'm not going to lie, the weather is getting cold, right? So when you're under those blankets, you do not want to get up, right? Especially before the sun comes up. You do not want to get up. You want to stay warm under the blankets, right? And I, and I, like one of the things that I always say before I go to bed, I'm like, you know what, spirit, I need that time. I need that time in the morning. I, I need that. You know, I have my, my morning routine where it's just me and like spirit, me and my higher self. I'm deep in meditation. I'm deep in everything. And you know, I'm like, you know what? I, I don't want to wake up tired. I don't want it. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to rush it. I don't want it anything. And literally, I have had the same alarm for as long as I can remember the same time. And spirit, every time that I surrender to the fact that like, you know what? I know that this is the moment where I can fail myself. I know this is the moment where I can, like, I could procrastinate and not show up for myself because it is cold, because it is so warm under the covers. Like, I know that. So I need backup. And you know what spirit does? Wakes me up five or three minutes before my alarm, wide awake, full of energy, like, and then I look at my phone and I'm like, and I get up instead of, because honestly, it could be very easy to just be like, no, I could wait the extra three minutes, the extra five minutes. I'm like, no, you know what? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, God. Thank I, whoever it is that you, you pray to, whoever it is that you believe in, whatever it is that you do, if you pray, whatever it is, right? And, and then that allows me, right, to show up for myself. So yeah, we have a lot of strength. We have a lot of willpower. And sometimes we are going to need help. And it is okay to ask for help, right? Um, and, and that's kind of like the message for you this week. So let's go ahead and let's pull out um, three tarot cards. Three tarot cards for Pisces for... So we have the five of wands, the knight of wands in the reverse, and then we have the death. So in, in order for you to get traction or in order for you to start seeing changes in your life, in order for you to start attracting or manifesting whatever it is that you want to manifest, you're, you're going to have to stop fighting um, or resisting where it is that you're being led. You're going to have to stop with not wanting to ask for help, with not wanting to receive help. Now, whether it is help from somebody physically here or from your spiritual team or whatever it is, there is a need here that you really want, you really want your life to change in a lot of areas. I'm just getting like a general, like I need, I need, I need something to change but are unwilling to ask for that help, right? So in order for you to ask help in something, right, or for something, you have to be able to know why you're asking for that help, right? So I can't just say, I need help in, in eating healthier, okay? Okay, I want to eat healthier. Spirit, I want to eat healthier. Okay. 
and you go out and you buy all of these things and this and this and that and then you're not planning for that craving of this or that craving of that so it's like you have to be a little bit more specific this is when we talk about like being a little bit more specific okay spirit i need help eating healthier or your guys your ancestor whoever it is that you ask for assistance spirit you know what I need any help eating healthier. I know that when blah, blah, blah happens, whether it's an emotional thing or whatever it is, um, I get cravings for this. I need help in that area. And, and it's, it's kind of like not just building your relationship, but also realizing that you're not alone, right? Um, whether it is that you're religious and you believe, you know, in Jesus or you believe in, in whatever it is that you believe on, right? When, when you are asking or you're petitioning for help in something, right? It, it's not just, this is what I need help, but it's like, are you aware as to what you need help or why you need help in that? Because that ultimately is what is going to allow you to free yourself from it, right? All right, so let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle card. Now, this can be confirmation to the reading. This can be your advice or something that you're not seeing clearly that you need to be made aware of. So what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? A tidy house, number one, clarity and organization. So in order to get organized, in order to have a tidy house, in order to be in alignment, in order to receive, in order to give, in order to feel like you're finally moving forward, everything has to be organized. You have to have a tidy house. And we're not talking about your physical house. We're talking about that house within yourself, right? That you, like you yourself have to be tidy. You yourself have to be organized with yourself. And that definitely leads you into a place where you have to take a very close look at yourself and as to why it is that you're so hesitant to ask for help. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. It is greatly appreciated. If you have not liked, share, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah! Love you all. Bye-bye.